Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is really different for me. Um, I am by no means like a homemaker, expert decorator, expert painter, <laughs> anything like that, but I figured I'd take you guys along the ride with me. Um, I picked up this uh, picnic table from my friend. He just moved into a new house and I said, hey, like, are you gonna use that picnic table? And he's like, no, no, you can have it. I'm like, I'll, I'll pay for it. He's like, no, take it. So I'm like, sweet. Um, I've always wanted like a picnic table back here in our backyard. Like we don't have like a deck or a patio or anything like that. So um, now that, you know, I've got, we've got two little ones, like I thought this would be just perfect to have um, in our backyard. We can eat out here, do crafts and that type of thing. Um, so I thought it was like the perfect thing. And it just gives me a little something, a little project to work on and um, just to kind of feel good about, you know, that I've, I've put something together. I, um, well, I didn't build this obviously, but um, I, I helped create something and bring something back to life, so to speak. So with all that being said, um, sorry, the mosquitoes are terrible right now. I didn't think they'd be that bad, but it is kind of humid. I don't know, this is probably not like the best time to be painting, but I'm like, I just gotta, I gotta do it and get it done. Um, so anyway, I picked up some paint and of course it's outdoor exterior paint, but it's a nice like dark turquoise. You probably can't see this, but um, but anyway, dark turquoise, it's one of like my favorite colors. And then I'm going to do some like decals on top. I picked them up um, from Amazon and I'm gonna do some, some little decals on top to kind of uh, spruce it up even more and give it some, some extra character. So this is gonna, they're gonna be like a little, like a yellow kind of color. So anyway, so this thing, again, it's not like brand new or anything. In fact, it is what I would call like perfectly imperfect. <laughs> There's a lot of imperfections in it. I had to put in a few extra um, screws to help hold down some of the, uh, or one of the boards here. There's, uh, I think there's a little bit of water repellent on it, so, but that's about it. I don't, I'm not even sanding it or anything. I think it's pretty much ready to go. Again, I'm not an expert, but I think it's ready to go for some paint. And this is paint and primer in one, so that, that'll help. We did have a few stowaways, some, uh, some wood spiders, I don't know what you want to call them, but some freaky big spiders came along for the ride um, <laughs> when we picked it up. So uh, my my little guy uh, Desmond and I, we helped save them. We threw them out back in the in the uh, tree on the tree line, so they're safe and sound back there. And then my son Desmond also helped me uh, wash the uh, picnic table. Uh, to help get it ready for the paint. So that was a little fun thing for him to help do. So yeah, there's a few other things that I'm thinking about doing with this table. So uh, some personal touches, um, if you will. So definitely uh, watch till the end so you can see what those uh, personal touches are. But yeah, I think it's ready to go. I hope it's ready to go. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna pour my paint. I, I had some uh, tofu this morning for breakfast, so this is the leftover container. I'm just gonna use that as my little like paint holder. And uh, I know it's not ideal. I prefer something with a handle, but hey, this is, this is what I have. All right, as I'm continuing to paint this bad boy, I think I'm gonna need more paint. <laughs> like now, I'll just need a quart or whatever that is, the smaller, smaller size, but I think I'm gonna need more paint. If I'm gonna do all the underneath, yeah, I think I'm gonna need more paint, which I should do, right? Like I don't wanna leave any bare spots. So I wanna do it properly and, uh, you know, cover the whole thing with paint. So I'm gonna need more paint.
All right, guys, this is the finished product of just the coat of the green paint, and I'm happy. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> it took me all freaking day, I'm not gonna lie. And I did have to go and get some more paint. Um, the smaller ones, I don't know if you can see right there, they're little eight ounce ones. Um, so I got two of those and I ended up only needing to use one. Um, so I'll have one just for extra, you know, to, for backup in case I need to repair anything on the table um, or whatever, do touch ups later on. But anyway, I love the color. I don't know if you can see the color coming through, but it's like the per it's like what I was going for. I, it's just, it's beautiful, isn't it, you guys? So I'm excited because I'm gonna, again, like I said, do some stenciling. So I'm gonna let this dry for a good day. We're not supposed to get any rain. I don't think for a few days, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's the case. But anyway, I'm gonna maybe do this if I get my stencils in the mail-in time uh, tomorrow. So yeah, so I'm so excited. Hey guys, it is the next day and I got my decals sent today. So now what I have to do is figure out which ones I want to put on the table. So this is gonna be a tough decision because they're all super, super cute. I love all of the, uh, the shapes and everything. So we'll see what I pick out. It's gonna be tough, but stay tuned. All right, so this is the pattern I came up with. Hopefully it turns out. <laughs> All right, so I got my yellow paint and I got a sponge and the sponge is what I'm gonna use to apply the paint to the decals here, the stencils. All right, so this is the finished product. This table is perfectly imperfect, which is just the way I like it. Definitely a learning experience for me using decals. <laughs> I'm sure I used the wrong uh, sponge to uh, put the yellow paint on because I had some like bleeding underneath and yeah, but you know, my first time painting a picnic table and using these decals, I'm pretty proud of myself and I really like it, you know? I just I put my heart and soul into it and um, yeah it was a fun experience and like I said a learning experience but I'm just really looking forward to enjoying this table with my family with my kids eating meals out here and doing little projects and you know playing with the kids on this table I'm sure my kids are gonna love it because they can color and paint and do whatever and it wasn't that expensive so I'm not worried if it gets all scratched up and messed up and everything you know the table is meant to be enjoyed. But anyway, yeah, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it, enjoyed it. And um, yeah, do you guys have any any uh, DIY projects that you guys are doing at home? Comment down below, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. And if you guys like, like motherhood related content, nutrition, lifestyle stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you here. But with that, as always, stay cool, be strong, and I will see you guys again in the next video. All right, take care, bye.